I'm Aristotle, and we're back with another episode of Stock Sundays, where we break down a recap of last week's headlines, biggest movers and losers, and if you stay to the end, I'll pull out my chart and tell you predictions for the following week. So let's jump straight into it with the top five things you may have missed. Number one, Netflix had an okay earnings. Earnings per share came in at 0.12, missing expectations by 0.42, revenue of 7.85 billion in line with expectations, but the best attribute that contributed to the rise was adding 7.66 million subscribers globally last quarter, beating expectations of 4.5 million. Makes sense because people usually like to Netflix, snuggle, and chill last quarter of the year, right? Number two, Carnival Cruise Line and SpaceX announced a new partnership of SpaceX's Starlink to provide satellite internet on Carnival's cruise ship Maybe they're starting to realize some people just can't live without technology, even on vacation. Number three, Party City just filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy. I mean, we all saw this coming. Like who in the world is purchasing costumes and wanting some party material on a daily basis? Come on now. Number four, Apple just unveiled a new Mac Mini, which acts as an external processor for people who are gamers and use high quality resolution videos 4K and 8K. Apple also just unveiled its newest in-house chip, the M2 Pro and the M2 Pro Max. Number five, Uber is working with automakers to design customized electric vehicles for ride sharing and delivery. They plan on having cars specifically designed for Uber where passengers face each other and have lower top end speeds to make them cheaper and mainly targeting big cities. They are staying quiet with the specific companies they're working with. Pretty sure it's Tesla, Lucid, everybody else, right? Our biggest movers are Tesla who jumped up 9%, Google up 7%, Nvidia up 6%, Morgan Stanley up 5% and Disney up 4%. Our biggest losers are Goldman Sachs down 8.6%, Charles Schwab down 7%, Pfizer down 5.7%, JPM Morgan down 5.5% and Verizon down 4%. This video is sponsored by Honey Drip Network. Honey Drip Network is an option trading and sports betting community that is also growing in numerous things that we'll be teaching our community. We have free options and sports betting watch lists, free webinars, free videos, and free trading bots. Link in the description if you're interested in joining this free community so we can show you how to get this money for free. Let's get it. Here are the important data numbers from last week and what to look forward to next week. The S&P 500 and the Dow sustained the first negative week of 2023 amid mixed earnings results big layoff announcements from major technology companies and concerns about the prospect of a recession. The Dow's weekly drop of 2.7% was, was far steeper than the 0.6 decline from the S&P 500 and contrast, the NASDAQ finished up 0.6%. Here's the important data releases to look forward to next week, but the most important is GDP, gross domestic product, which is the standard measure of the value added created through the production of goods and services in a country during a certain period. It also measures the income earned from the production or the total amount spent on final goods and service. Quarter four GDP ahead Thursday schedule release of the government's initial estimate of fourth quarter GDP is expected to show that the economy recorded its second consecutive quarter of positive growth, indicating a recovery from negative results recorded in early 2022. In the third quarter, GDP rose at annual rate of 3.2. For the fourth quarter, most economists expect a modern slowdown from that growth rate. We also have huge earnings the week ahead. The most anticipated earnings for next week are Tesla after close Wednesday, Microsoft after close Tuesday, Boeing before close Wednesday, Verizon before open Tuesday, and Johnson & Johnson before open Tuesday. Now let's get into our watch list and what I see and the predictions I have. Three, two, one. So the first stock I'm looking at is SPY, SPY, and I'm on the daily chart. I'm gonna draw my trend line. As you can see, we have multiple touches of resistance still, and we're still below resistance points. You see that? So we have so many touches, almost what six touches right so until we cross above mainly about 400.5 i don't see you know a bullish turnaround yet i still see 
things rejecting from this point now granted we do have some bullish setups in the stock market so we need to look forward to that but we also have a big earnings week coming up so things could get tricky here you never know we could get another false breakout um tesla another one sitting right at this trend line that i you know i would like it if it breaks this trend line because then that means it will be bullish this is the third touch of this trend line so we're going to see but for now i see tesla possibly rejecting but we do have some bullish setups they also have earnings tesla also has earnings so um, if you see right here it has earnings wednesday that we talked about another one i'm watching for a bullish setup of course is amazon if amazon can cross above uh, possibly 90 i'll say 99 honestly 100 if amazon can get above 100 i can see it being bullish apple uh a resistance line right here another stock i think would be a great swing if we can get above this level was apple so apple was climbing the ladder as you can see and if apple can get above 139 then it could possibly make a nice run at least up until earnings meta meta just crossed a key level right here with some nice volume so it is oversold i mean it is overbought on the rsi so watch for that but yes meta is looking good so far and then you have and then nvidia like i said everything still looks like it's you know caught up at this trend line the video as you can see one two three four so this could be you know either a false breakout or it's going to be a nice breakout but if nvidia can get above 79 then i can see nvidia taking off as well so this is a very tricky week we are literally at key resistance levels and we have big earnings coming up so you know if i were you guys i would focus on day trading and refrain from trying to swing too much because the trend can really mess you up especially if you have negative bad earnings you don't know what earnings are going to be so you know um if i were you guys day trading it's your boy aristotle we out